Quickly to the air is Burrow. Open receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Throwing back across his body. Picked up by Jaquan Brisker. And the Bears are going to take possession of the football. They'll start with the option. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. They'll try to run it in, going option right. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Justin Fields scoring on the keeper from six yards out. And the Bears use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Fields trying to throw for it. And that's caught at the two. And he will get in to make it 8 nothing. And the formula there on the two-point try, they go five wide, not even the option to hand the ball off. They got it. They tried to create space, and there isn't a whole lot of it there. For the defense, what you're trying to do is make sure that if someone, if they're going to catch the ball, make them catch it behind you because they run out of space with the back line. But in this case, the offense figured it out. The Bengals drive about to get going. Now remember the last time out, they threw the interception. That led to the touchdown, so now time to regroup. It certainly is, and their goal right now as they go back out on the field, a calming drive, something that takes the ball, keeps it for a while, lets the defense relax a little bit, lets the offense regain confidence in their game plan. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Here's Burrow. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over at that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now it's Burrow. And the catch made, it's Tyler Boyd. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Mixon is into the end zone for a Bengal touchdown. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play and actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on the stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. So 8-8 eight, eight our score now as he'll send this one away. On the return, it's Tristan Ebner from his end zone. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears' offense. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally, I've warned against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now it's Fields. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 26-yard line. They'll try to run wide side with Montgomery. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. David Montgomery 
26 yards. And the Bears have taken the lead. Santos with the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here we go. The Bengals drive about to get going. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. Mixon with a first down carry. And they'll get him down here at about the 42. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Burrow will throw. And this is incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. A good chance. This is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Throwing the out route, finding Boyd for the completion. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. And he'll just get rid of it. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Play action. It's Burrow. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their playbook and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. Again, it's Burrow. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 14. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. And with the rules as touchy as they can be, it's so hard to complete a diving catch in the end zone, but he just did it pretty well. How about him getting his body, his hands, everything underneath and around the football without it hitting the ground? And oh, it'll be intercepted. It's interesting that when it comes to two-point conversions, even heavy run teams tend to throw the ball in these situations. In this case, this one was intercepted. Yeah, they weren't fooled. They were ready for the pass, picked it off. Ebner going to elect to bring this out of the end zone here. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute, but... Did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it, and afterwards they'll say, there was never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. On first down, Fields. This pass on target, Vegas Jones with it. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Second down, Montgomery. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Play action. It's Fields. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. On first and ten, here's Fields. Flushed out right. 
That's complete to Mooney. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Back to throw. Fields. Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. Chase Claypool, a 16-yard touchdown. And they are able to add on to their advantage. They'll try and throw for it. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And that bumps their lead up even further. And this is going to be snuffed out. The Bengals recover. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach and going after it also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. First and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. And Burrow's throw here on target to Hurst. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He completes it to Boyd. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. That'll give him eight that time. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Throwing again, it's Burrow. And that is caught. He's got it for a Bengal touchdown. Hayden Hurst, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Bengals get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. And Burrow's going to look to throw for it. Escaping the pressure right. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, all that exit, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And they may just be content to take this three-point lead and head into the locker room. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. Textbook coverage right there. Played the ball, never lost sight of where it was headed, and stayed in perfect position to make a play on it. Able to keep the receiver and the quarterback in his sight lines. To throw on second and ten. Fields completes a Mooney on the slam. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Now a first down throw. Fields flush to his right. And this will be caught at the 30. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Santos' kick is up and through. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one-possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. 
field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, set to resume. Here we go with the second half. The Bears holding the lead and ready to receive the kick. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Fields on first down. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. They came out with an aggressive mindset to start the third quarter, and I wouldn't be surprised to see them take more of these type of deep shots as this game moves along. They connected there. They expect to connect on more before this one's over. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. A give to Montgomery, out of the gun. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. David Montgomery with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bears take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Matt Eberflew is going to keep his offense on the field. They're going for two. Trying to run it in with Montgomery. And he is into the end zone again as he scores both the touchdown and the two-point conversion to extend this lead. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bengals drive about to get going. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And, Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, magical spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now it's Burrow. Trying to get it to Chase, but it's intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it. And the Bears are going to take possession of the football. Well, and I saw the pressure coming out, and that just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it, and the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy, and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Fields. Open man is Komet, the tight end. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. Just a gain of a yard, but it's 
going to set him up with a first and goal. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. Montgomery. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Steps away. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Justin Fields, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bears have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. The Bengals drive about to get going. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Jamar Chase, 81 yards. And the Bengals have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. He's got fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And this is picked up by the Bears. It's funny to me because we actually keep a football in the booth with us during games. And I notice you cradling the football. You get it tucked As pretty tight speak. with the points of pressure here. And that didn't occur on that play, did it? No, you're saying I wouldn't have fumbled if I was you down there? You would not have fumbled. You got that thing locked in tight. I also have really large biceps. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll begin by dropping it off to Montgomery and up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 102 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And Fields going to have the first down before sliding to a halt to avoid the contact. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll go to Montgomery to try to wind some clock. And forget that 100-yard rushing game, at least for the moment, as he'll lose yardage here and fall back under the century mark for the game. On second and 12, Fields eluding the pressure right. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Komet. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. And this will be caught by Mooney. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. Running for it, Montgomery. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. So the drive will indeed continue. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. A play fake. Now fields to throw. On the move to his left. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this will be caught. Well, forget taking the knee. Some late gamesmanship here as they throw for a late touchdown. And this win now going to look a little more lopsided on the scoreboard, CD. Now, some may have run out the clock in that scenario, but they wanted to put their foot on the gas, get one more touchdown, and they did just that. Well, partner, I would say the traditionalists not overly excited about that score. They'd like to see the game played a little bit differently. But what you can't argue with is their execution of that play because it played out exactly as it was drawn up. It almost would have been a shame not to finish with such a well-run play.
So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA.